We're setting up a Bosch CRC200 controller on a Bosch Green Star boiler. As soon as you connect the two together and power up the boiler, the CRC200 will ask you some questions that you have to answer before it can be used. The choice will be language. There are a lot of different languages in here, but the default is English. Rotate to English and press your knob to confirm. Next, you'll have to set the date. The knob can be rotated to pick the month and then press the knob again to confirm the month. The date moves to day, and again, you can rotate the knob until you get to the right day. And the same goes for the year. Now we'll select the time. The default is a 12 hour clock. Notice that if I turn back before noon, it switches to AM. But if I go back to one o'clock, it gives me PM. Press your hours to confirm, and the minutes will flash, and you can set them by pressing con by confirming. The HC assignment or heating zone assignment should always be one if the CRC200 is the only device connected to the boiler. If you had a CZM100 or other NSC controls, that answer might be different, but in this case, it's gonna be one. Auto configuration has a choice of no or yes. If you pick no, you've gotta go through a long menu of programming. Picking yes tells the CRC200 to go do what it needs to do, and it's gonna go find what's connected to the boiler, what kind of boiler is connected, and whether there's an outdoor temperature sensor connected. Once it's done, it'll come back to our domestic hot water setting. It only takes a moment for it to run through the system and figure out what's what. Now we have to program our domestic hot water. I have choices. Yes, I have an indirect tank with a primary pump, or I have a three-way valve, or no, I don't have any domestic hot water. For this house, we're gonna pick yes on a primary pump. By the way, if I make a mistake, I can press the back arrow and go back to it. This menu won't show itself if it's a combi Bosch boiler. It'll only show itself if it is a heat-only Green Star. Low-loss header sensor, I have three choices. No, I don't have one. Yes on appliance, yes on mod. In this case, I'm gonna pick yes on mod. Recirculation is no, because I'm not setting my Green Star up to recirculate all the time, at least not in this house. If I wanted to change it, turn the knob, press to confirm. When I go to heat system, I have two choices. I have a high temperature heating system, and you'll notice the design temp for high temp is 167. This is 167 degrees, and an ambient air temperature of about 14. High temp would be baseboards or radiators. If I wanted to go back and pick a different system, I have a choice of high or low. Low temperature would be in slab floor heating or under floor heating, some kind of radiant heating. There the design temperature is only 113 at 14 degrees. We're gonna bump that up a little bit because we're in a very cold climate here. Now we get to max supply temp. Again, on a high temp system, the default would be higher than 118. On a low temp, it's 118. We're also gonna turn this up a little bit, but we don't wanna turn it too hot because we're on a concrete slab and we don't wanna damage the concrete. So we're gonna stay below 130 degrees. And we're gonna confirm it. Frost protection is next. By outdoor temp, by room, by room outside. In this case, I'm gonna select room, but you might wanna select outdoor, depending on what you're doing. When I get to heating start, I have a choice of no or yes. Choose yes, and you're done programming. And the CRC200 is ready to use. In a moment, it'll display the indoor temperature. Notice that it's in auto mode. I can select manual, and it will hold it at whatever temperature I set it to, so if I set it to 70, it'll just leave it there. If I go into auto, I have a choice of six programs per day for seven days for a total of 42 programs. You're done. The CRC200 and Green Star are ready to use. We're gonna configure our Bosch CRC200 controller to do outdoor reset of a Green Star boiler. The temperature sensor must be connected to the boiler prior to doing this because the CRC200 won't display the menu of outdoor reset 
unless it sees that there's a temperature sensor connected to the Green Star. Once everything's connected, go into the service menu by pressing and holding the menu button for three seconds. Once in the service menu, you'll see the service indicator start blinking. Press the dial, then go into system data and make sure the heating assignment is one. Once that's done, you're going to turn the dial and you're going to go to control type. Press control type. You have a few choices here. External optimized, external simple, room supply, or room output. Make it easy on yourself and pick external simple. If you select one of the other ones, you have to program the curves into the room. External simple has a pre-programmed curve already built in. Once you've done that, you're finished. Press the return arrow until you get out of the service menu and you're back in the main menu. And the last thing you need to do is change the room temperature to be 70 degrees and put it in manual. You're done and the Green Star and CRC200 are now ready for outdoor reset.